Why are women needlessly suffering with endometriosis? Well, this is a very complicated and a very good question. Another important thing to consider is adenomyosis. That's where the lining of the uterus, that tissue, gets into the muscle of the uterus. Uh, endometriosis is where the lining of that tissue gets into the abdominal cavity. That tissue is extremely sensitive to hormonal fluctuations throughout the menstrual cycle throughout the month. So during the time of a period, that tissue dies and sloughs off. Uh, however, if it's in the muscle or if it's inside the abdomen, it can be very painful um, and it's a very, very common problem. Um, a general OBGYN is definitely your best source. Um, they work with this all the time, every day. Uh, there's lots and lots of different types of options. There's different uh, medications that can be done and often there's new medications. In the last couple of years, there's been several new medications that can help with endometriosis. Um, there are some people who are also specialists in endometriosis in some of the larger cities. Uh, I don't personally um, specialize in this, but there's lots of people around um, who I would definitely uh, send a patient to who have tried some of the basic things, um, but uh, maybe isn't getting uh, any relief from it. Uh, there's also surgical options, which can be very helpful. Often a diagnostic laparoscopy, that's where you take a scope, a camera, look in the belly, look around, sometimes take biopsies, sometimes removing those areas of um, endometriosis that are seen uh, can actually be quite helpful for people for, for some period of time. Um, and additionally, uh, stress and anxiety can make these problems worse. Um, so as always, it's very important to get that uh, in control as well. Uh, whether it's, as I mentioned before, whether it's therapy or um, uh, meditation, uh, exercise is excellent, yoga is excellent. Whatever works for you, that's what you should definitely pursue.